I'm Jason Olsford and today I'm going to show you how to fix lens flare in your glasses. All right, there you go. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to show you how to fix lens flare in your glasses in Photoshop. So let's get started. Do you know whether it's Wacom or Wacom? I can never figure out which one it is. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how I get rid of lens flare. And just so you know, I'm going to be using a Wacom or Wacom. I think I like Wacom because it sounds more, you know, aggressive. All right. And this is going to be an aggressive tutorial. So uh, anyway, I'm going to use the Wacom tablet to show you how to edit out uh, lens flare and specifically I was working on this uh, caricature um, composite that I'm getting ready to do for uh, Sin Lab Media, Sync Lab Media and uh, did this fix on his lenses and I thought you know what the heck I'll do a tutorial. Now this may not be uh, a very fast tutorial because this is only the second time that I've done this. So this is where we started uh, and then after I did the fix this is what I ended up with. Okay so enlarge this so you can get a better visual we want visual all right so this is where we started this is where we're going all right so let's get into this so when i did this i started off with the left side uh the left lens here where this was seemed to be the easiest one and so what i did is simply i like getting this into a hundred percent here uh, grab the lasso tool at about a one de uh, pixel feather and then I create a new layer here and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to lasso something you know something that looks skin tone that looks like it would fit into that area there and I'm going to copy it I'm going to put it up here on my other layer and so now I have a copy a lot of times you go in here and we try to paint these things out and uh, do all sorts of crazy things or clone them out and that type of thing and, and it looks like it's actually been done. I think it's a little easier or a little bit more believable if you take a copy of a skin area that would match that tone and then you're also going to paint a little bit and then shading will also minimize any uh, look that you've done anything to it. It'll actually even everything out real nicely. So uh, we're going to go in here, we're going to grab our copy here, take it up to where we're going and I'm going to turn it here. I like to enlarge it so we can fit the whole darn thing. It might be a little, no, that's probably good. About right there. Yep. Maybe enlarge it just a little bit so we have a little bit of room here to, because uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to put a layer mask on it, grab the paintbrush, and then bring that up and then make sure your flow is 100 opacity 100 and then you also want to feather your hardness down to you know 20 25 something like that anyway and then just go in and start painting the edge out and you can if you get a little too aggressive there you can go in there and fix that and then just keep painting the edge out of it and the bigger you make your brush, the more feather effect it will have, which is really what you want, because you want to make sure that you blend it really nice with uh, what we're doing here. And when you get up to glasses, you want to make sure you minimize that, or lower, you know, make the brush smaller so you can minimize the feathering of it. All right, so that looks pretty darn good right in there. So this is our left lens, and I would argue that you, when you bring this out and look at it you're not even going to be able to tell and then once you go in later on when I start uh, shaping the face and and putting my shadows and every highlights in and everything you're not even gonna be able to tell that even exists all right so that's the easy one now for the difficult one the difficult one over on the right side here we need to fix this we got to fix this area here with the gray and then we got to fix this um, 
post here as well uh, because it's a different color as well. So we got a lot of work on this side and this is where the majority of our time is gonna be taken up. So we're gonna go here. Let's put this in a layer here so we can keep it separate and put that All right, left lens. We'll call that one the left lens. There's no messing up where we're at there. Right up there, take that top. Okay, so now we're gonna fix the right side here. Again, go over here and bring this up a little bit so we can see it better. Grab the lasso tool. And now we wanna grab uh, some skin tone that would you know, kind of match this. Now we're gonna get into some problems here because right here on the edges, we're seeing um, right in the creases and maybe into the uh, wrinkle that we have here into the eye sh uh, eyelashes those type of things are going to be uh, kind of obstructed here with the lens flare so we're going to have to fix that but I'll show you how to do that in a little bit okay so we're going to take our skin tone here and let's just grab something in here I don't even remember which one I which one I did but then we're going to copy it bring it up here something like that copy it again bring that one I'm not really digging the skin tone too much so I'm gonna get rid of those and we're gonna try a different one and I think a lot of times unless you're like super good at it and I'm not uh, it's hard to get the right skin tone on the first try so we're going to do that put it on the layer that we want to copy paste it to the layer above and grab that and move it all right and i like it to where it's hanging out over the edge there because we're going to fix that here in just a little bit i'm going to turn that get the thick end on this one over on the glasses that area looks pretty good and then one more here bring it up there all right so there's our three layers here of of masking okay so now we're, we're going to go in here and i'm going to put a layer mask on each one and again take your paintbrush make it large so you can get a nice feather of it and we're just going to even out make sure you're on black there we're just going to even out those tones just a little bit because we don't want them to look too contrived again go in here you can see how close that is right there to the edge this is where it gets really, really funky and really tricky, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make this happen here. So we'll come in here, do that. It's like that. That looks pretty good. And then our final layer here. Come up here again. Make sure we're in black. Okay, it's okay if you go over because you can always go back since you have a layer mask and fix that all right so now we're going to go in here and what i do is i'll put this into a layer and put a layer mask on that so i don't have to fart around with all those different three uh three layers that i have so we can go in here just like that that looks pretty good right there so that is the fix on the face, all right? I see just a little bit down here. I wanna fix that. I don't want too much coming down. There we go. All right, so that's the fix on there. Now we're gonna to go to the uh, glass here. You're just gonna grab your lasso tool. I do the poly, what is that? Polygonal, polygonad. And bring that all the way over here. Bring it down. Very good. Bring Get your brush tool. Good. Take a selection of the gray that we're going to copy there. And then just paint it in. 
Super simple. Grab the one on top there. We're going to get that one. Doing this a little faster than I did on the last one. Um, but I think you're going to get the point or the idea really well of what how we did this. And then paint that in. Very good. And then I also like to paint this out as well. I don't really dig that, whatever that flare is or glare is. All right, so now we are making some progress. All right, so now we need to fix this post before we go over and and uh, start really blending everything to make it look believable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I start it. I'm going to take a copy of the other side post, copy it, make sure we put it on a. As you can tell, I'm really bad about um, describing my layers or titling my layers or whatever you call it. So we're going to bring that all the way over. Um, let's see here. I'm going to. I think I flipped it. Yep. And then maybe turned it just a little bit. You just want to get it close. You don't, doesn't have to be perfect, but and one way you can do that is you can drop the opacity out on it down just a little bit. That looks like a pretty good angle, right? Right about error. Okay, and then we're gonna put a layer mask on that. Very good, Jason, you're doing a good job. And then we're gonna start painting that out. Just like that. I bet you didn't think it was this easy, huh? Actually, it's very, very easy. And I'm going to bring this up and blend that edge right in there. I'll show you right here. Blend this edge really well right here. And that's that's a pretty good base for what we're going to do here. Okay, so um, that's quick, but you get the idea. Now I'm going to just show you real quick how to uh, make this look a little bit more believable. The skin tone is off a little bit. Uh, in the original here, you can see that I picked a an area. I think I got an area in this right here instead of down here to do that. So uh, there's a little bit of difference, but that's okay. Okay, so there's our layer here. So now we're just going to add another layer on top, and this is going to be our painting uh, layer here. You might be able to drop the opacity down on this just a tiny bit to to blend the skin tone. I mean, that's not too bad. Dropping it down to 90. I mean, that's not bad right there at 80%. So that, that kind of gives us a, a more believable skin tone. Now we're going to go in here to our other layer, grab our paintbrush, and I like to enlarge this so I can really get in and, and see what I'm doing here in the detail, and then take samples from whatever you're going to be painting and make sure that you've set the flow down to one percent and opacity i tend to like it i don't know 85 maybe we'll go with that and then just go in and start painting those areas we're just going to take samples from a bunch of areas and start just painting it in and and working our magic with it good and then take this darker area here, or drop that down. This is the, of course you could do maybe a clone as well. Not too bad, and then clone that. And then just start painting in some other areas. And 
It's just a matter of painting it until it starts looking believable. And we're pretty, you know, we're enlarged here pretty big. So um, when we take this down to a smaller scale, it's going to start looking really, really good. Like it actually should be that way. Just bring that dark down just a little bit. Just like that. That's good. And we're going to bring this dark up. Make sure that we paint with the flow of the skin. Very good. We're going to come in here and we're going to fix this gray because we don't like that gray outline, that light gray. So anyway, keep doing that. Keep working on that um, and get real close to perfect there. Uh, just painting out the gray because I don't like all that light gray makes it look like it's been fixed and I don't like it looking like it's been fixed. I like it looking like it hasn't been fixed. Like it just was photographed that way. So, all right. So anyway, you get the idea there. Take that all the way out. And when you take it out, even to, you know, 60%, it's looking pretty good. And then when you go in and start, you know, shading and putting in your shadows and highlights and really emphasizing different things, uh, that's going to look completely natural. You won't even be able to tell. So that is my very quick or that's as quick as i can make it fix for lens flare or lens glare on uh, glasses and uh, worked out really well the key to it though is that you got to take skin tones from other areas that match that tone uh, and, and not clone stamp clone stamping to me tends to look really begin to look like it, it's uh, been fixed and contrived and so I, that's why I don't like it and it's really hard with the clone stamp to get the rim the you know the rims of the glasses uh, to match up as well so this is a really good easy fix and I hope you got something out of that uh, I know that you know people wear glasses it's tough so uh, and I knew it was going to be tough the main thing I focused on uh, when photographing this guy is is to make sure that that lens flare or glare wasn't in his pupils or in the eye where it was going to be really impossible uh, to fix. So anyway, hope you got a lot out of this uh, tutorial. Now go out, fix your lens flare. Don't let that be a, you know, a complicating factor in your photography and your compositing. And then let me see what you do because I love seeing what you guys do. And until next time, be awesome, create awesome composites, and we'll see you next time on The Factory.